Good morning, Jayhawks. Today is November 9th, and this is Madison Kane and Arabella Balgobin with our first ever JNN broadcast. We had a great first quarter for our 2023 to 2024 school year. And here to talk more about it is Willa Lefkowitz. The seniors kicked off the school year with their two exciting traditions, the first one being the annual senior whiteout and the second one being right here on the track, the senior sunrise. Students had to wake up bright and early at 6.30 in the morning and made sure to bundle up with blankets and sweatshirts. Already being at the football fields, I have to mention our amazing homecoming weekend. Although our team suffered a tough loss, the Nest made sure to hype everyone up and students were so excited to see that we brought back all of our homecoming festivities. This includes a variety of foods and stomach twisting rides. Now let's go see what's happening inside the school. This is Jericho High School's new fish tank that promotes mental health awareness. It was built just in time for our school's first wellness day. Our wellness day did a great job helping students relax and recharge. We went on de-stressing wellness walks, had engaging assemblies, and we played with the cutest service dogs. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Ella. Madison, did you get to go to any Jericho games this past quarter? I went to a few, but just catch me up. Here's a rundown of our fall sports. Congratulations to the fall sports teams, boys football, girls soccer, girls volleyball, girls swimming, and cross country. You all worked so hard from the beginning to end of the fall sports season. Boys varsity soccer won nine matches, lost two, and tied at one. Our soccer team played an amazing game in their first round of playoffs. Unfortunately, they had a tough loss, but what an amazing season. Congratulations, boys. Girls tennis also had an amazing season this year and made it to playoffs. Once again, the boys varsity badminton team had an undefeated season. They are the number one badminton team in Nassau County and two-time Long Island champions and seven-time consecutive county champions. Huge props to them. The boys' varsity volleyball season record was 8-5. and five. They won against Elmont in the semifinals. Good luck to in the finals. Congratulations to every fall sports team for finishing up the season with a great scores, and we hope to see you again next year. In other fall news, October included none other than Jericho's annual Halloween costume contest. Here to catch us up on Halloween at Jericho is Ella and Archana. I'm Ella Webb, and this is Halloween at Jericho. The Medical Minds Club hosted a Halloween themed bake sale. What is your costume? It's Marie Antoinette. Um, I'm a cheese costume. I'm Harry Potter. I'm a painting, and my friend who's partnered with me is Bob Ross. Halloween 2023 was a great success, but don't take my word for it. I thought Halloween went great. We had the costume contest with the whole decoration contest. One of my favorite things about the teachers' contest is the fact that it wasn't just the departments, but it was the building and central administration. I loved how many uh, students participated. It was a great time all around. This has been Ella Webb with Jericho News Network. Back to you in the studio. Super scary stuff, guys. Continuing with costumes and theatrics, the annual drama is an all-time favorite this year. Let's check it out. The Jericho Theater production organization has been preparing Clue, the first play of the school year. Clue is a whodunit murder mystery involving six suspects, trying to determine who the real killer is. Now let's go behind the scenes and interrogate some suspects. Who are you most excited for leading up to the play? I'm most excited for the spirit week we're doing during tech week. I think that's going to be really fun. Describe the play in three words. I'd say it's pretty campy. Um, the plot moves pretty quickly, and it's disastrous. Who do you think committed the crime? I think you're going to have to come and see the show because there's a lot of mayhem and craziness. Come see Clue, November 16th, 17th, and 18th. Yeah! This has been Madison Lee for the Jericho News Network. Now back to the studio. Arabella, are you planning on seeing the show? Of course. I heard it's going to be a full house, including some of our new hires. Really? I, ca I can't say I know much about them. And that's exactly why the New Media One class put together this feature about Jericho's newest faculty members. Uh, so my favorite comfort TV show would definitely have to be something called The Challenge. Hmm. Modern Family. Uh, my comfort TV show would have to be Friends. Dr. Phil. Um, friends. Probably Modern Family. <laughs> I'll go with Parks and Rec. Oh, if I'm home, I can watch um, The V, The View, or Cooking Show. I honestly watch a lot of K-dramas that are on Netflix. Currently, I'm watching 7th Heaven, but all, all time, The Office. 
comfort TV show would have to be King of Queens. Right now, I would say my comfort TV show is Bridgerton, because that's what I'm watching all the time. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? I got almost nine hours. Uh, like five or six. I try to get about eight. Oh, like four hours. Eight. I think five and a half. I think I got my full eight. I think seven. Five hours. Eight hours and 20 minutes. Eight hours. Six, maybe? It's Regeneron season. Uh, I would just, I would choose 2050 just to see what the technology would be like during that time. Would you choose? I just want to go into the future to try to see what, how everything changed and how much technology has advanced. Go to the future, because I don't know what's going on there. 1990s. So I'm an 80s girl. I grew up in the 80s, so definitely I would go back to the 80s. I would go to the 70s, because I love 70s music. <laughs> 90s, forever 90s. pizza i can eat slice of pizza every day that's a good question uh pizza favorite food my favorite food would have to be a slice of pizza from my favorite pizzeria mm, great question buffalo chicken pizza one food for the rest of my life would 100 percent be chicken wings cheese cheese, it'd be cheese i think it would be sushi sesame noodles I love anything that's kind of chewy, so anything made with flour, like bread or pasta. Plantain. I love sweet plantain. <laughs> Definitely tacos. <laughs> Medium rare steak. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Justin Bieber. <laughs> Don't tell my wife, Jennifer Aniston. Celebrity crush. My celebrity crush is Ryan Gosling. Bradley Cooper, all the way. <laughs> Angelina Jolene. Brad Pitt. Uh, Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. My celebrity crush is Blake Lively. Uh, the Shy. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I'd definitely go with Kim and Kanye. Kanye. Kim and Pete. Funny. Over everything. Kanye. Uh, I that is. Kim and Kanye. Pete, she looked happier. Kanye. Kim and Kanye, like, five years ago. Kim and Kanye. <laughs> Let's go with Kim and Pete. Kanye seems like he's in some trouble. Neither. <laughs> Kim and Kanye. Wow, we have such amazing staff this year. Tell me about it. So, we know what the teachers think about Kim, Kanye, and Pete, but what do they think about Taylor and Travis? Well, we can all learn more about celebrities and other pop culture with Brownie Bites. Take it away, Bob and Samara and Zoya. Hello, Hello Jericho, Jericho High School. School. My name is Samara Mehta. And I'm Bob and Bogman. And this is Brownie Bites. Where we, Brownie, share the latest bites of pop culture news with you. First up, we have an enchanting duo making headlines, NFL star Travis Kelsey and pop sensation Taylor Swift. It appears that sparks have been flying between them and, according to the LA Times, are confirmed to be dating. Fans are truly invested in this happy couple's relationship, and hopefully this is a love story to last. Speaking of couples, Zach Bryan got himself a new Oklahoma smoke show. TikToker Brianna Chicken Fry began dating the country music star and recently made their relationship public. I don't know about you, Samara, but it seems love is in the November air. A recent wax statue of Dwayne The Rock Johnson revealed the actor in a skin tone much lighter than expected, which left both him and his fans upset and confused. After stating that he was low-key offended, the Musée Grevin unveiled a redo of the wax statue they made of him with a more accurate skin tone. Fans of the Hunger Games series should get ready for more excitement as a new installment, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, is coming soon to the franchise. So while Katniss Everdeen's story may have ended, the world of the Hunger Games is far from finished with this prequel. Well, that's all for today's broadcast chat. Next time, we'll talk about Libby Dunn raising up Baby Gronk. We hope you enjoy the brownie bites. I'm Bob and Bogman. I'm Samara Mehta. Back to the studio. In other words, news, winter sports are back. The sports journalism staff prepared this preview after touring the info meetings. Uh, winter season is upon us. Starts on Monday the 13th. Uh, we already have upwards of 300 kids registered on Family ID, so that's great. Our numbers are through the roof. Uh, and I think we're going to have a really great winter season. Herbert, you know, he's a great teacher, a great guy, so, you know. Uh, so you going to go for it? Uh, absolutely, yeah. I think we are going to have an amazing team. Incredibly excited for the upcoming basketball season. We're going to run them, 
We're gonna get them in shape. We're gonna make sure that they are basketball ready. We have some enthusiastic people. We've got nine returners, so I think we're gonna have some good leaders on our team. You can't outwork us. We're gonna outwork you. We uh, finished third last year at Counties. I think we can do just as well, if not better. Very vigorous training. The numbers coming out this year, probably the largest we've had in about 15 or 20 years. Mostly excited for uh, the girls program. We're going to see how that program takes off. Looking forward to working hard in the wrestling room with all, the, all my teammates. Oh, Jayhawks. Can't wait for the new season, Jayhawks. And for our second year of the announcing program, there will be a meeting for all students interested at announcing at the basketball games or working the new video scoreboard on Tuesday, November 14th at 8.30 a.m. at room 255. Arabella, you would be amazing at that. I'll only do it if you do it. I guess we're doing it together. Before we end this broadcast, Jesse and Lily have some important announcements. Hey Jesse, winter's almost here. Do you know what that means? Snow days? I wish, but no. Winter sports tryouts are starting on November 13th in our three-day tryout. Make sure you sign up for Family ID, which closes on November 10th. Hmm, Lily, guess what's November 16th? I don't know. Give me a clue. Exactly. Clue, the high school drama production, is November 16th at 6.30 and 17th and 18th at 7.30 in the Little Theater. Make sure to grab your tickets on the On The Stage website. Hey Jesse, how's my pose? Uh, could use some work. Do you want to know where to go, though, to see some really good poses? Where? Fashion show on December 9th. Maybe after some practice, I can convince my parents to let me become a runway model. After what I just saw, I think you'll need way more practice. But speaking of parents, parent-teacher conferences are coming up. Parent-teacher conferences are Tuesday, November 21st by teacher request, but open to all on Wednesday from 8.30 to 12.30. I really hope that my parents will be impressed with what my teachers say about me and happy with my grades. Grades, about that. I heard that the Power School por portal opens on the 14th. Make sure to submit all your assignments. Uh-oh, I have to do that. You should get to that. And with that, those are all your upcoming announcements we have for you now. This has been Jesse Siegman and Lily Mark for Jericho News Network. I gotta go get to those assignments. Well, that's all we have for you. Please take a moment to complete the Google form that was emailed to you via Canvas. We sincerely want your feedback as we begin our JNN broadcast journey. This has been Arabella Balgobin and Madison Kane with your Jericho News Network broadcast.